Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer, and today I want to talk to you about an interesting new study that is showing and proving there might be a secondary visual pathway in the brain that when someone has a stroke or traumatic brain injury and loses vision, they can gain it back again. Now, before I go into that, let's talk about how you can connect with us. If you're local, call me at 618-288-1489. Um, if you're not local, you can go to our website. If you're just ready to take that next step and take the plunge, then schedule a consultation time with me. We'll talk about how we can help you with better vision. Um, if you're not ready for that next step, you can certainly do some digging around on our website and even fill out a questionnaire and get a little bit of general feedback about how you answered those questions. Now let's talk about this study in which it's kind of suggestive that in mice they now have found a second visual pathway. Super interesting information and not tons of data out there yet. However, I believe it's coming. And I've said this for years when people ask me, when you're helping to correct someone who has lost vision to regain some of that vision back, whether it be 10%, or 80% of that vision coming back. How are you doing it? What's the process that's actually occurring in the brain? And there's been a lots of kind of fumbling around with explaining it well, we're turning the brain back on and turning the area of the brain that was maybe shut down due to stroke or injury, kind of lighting that back up electrically, putting blood flow back there, increasing neuroactivity, neurons and sending signals throughout the brain back in that area. That's kind of how it's happening. But secondarily, we now know that we're kind of creating new visual pathways as well. And what that typically means is, is um, or not creating new visual pathways, I guess we are, but in this sense, what I'm talking about with this study is that there may be a secondary pathway there dormant, lying in wait of needing to be turned on. So a little bit different than the terminologies or the words and phrases that we've used before where we say we're creating new visual pathways. It may in effect be that we're really just turning on a pathway that's a secondary one, dormant, lying, waiting, and ready to take on what another pathway isn't capable of doing anymore. So how do we actually either kind of recharge the area that may be from a stroke or a traumatic brain injury loss its ability to kind of be functional or how do we kind of turn on that secondary pathway that we now know exists due to some recent studies. Uh, well first of all what we're using is a form of treatment um, kind of like in two phases. It's called vision therapy, but the first phase that we utilize is syntonics or photolight therapy. Now, I do want to pause for just a moment and show you. This is an instance in which a patient has what's called a homonymous hemianopsia. Now, we have taken all kind of identifying information off of this, so you can't really see any of that stuff on here. Um, but it's just kind of showing you this person has lost half of their visual field. They do have a little bit of a section here they can still see, and they've lost this kind of up in here. On this other eye, same deal, lost kind of half of it, although there's a bite here that they have that they can see, and they've lost some of this up here. So that's kind of what we're talking about. If someone has had a stroke or a traumatic brain injury in which they've lost part of their visual field, and how are we actually kind of turning that back on or actually making it come back again to where someone can visually see in those areas? So again, phase, um, two different phases. Phase one being syntonics, and we use these all the time. They sit in my little basket right here so I can grab them easily for my videos. But syntonics or photolight therapy uses a lot of different types of filters. It's not just about using one filter that's magically gonna do it or even two filters that's magically gonna do it. It's actually a sequence very specific that we designed, I designed, in order to correct what happens as a result of a traumatic brain injury. First set of filters is kind of healing the traumatic brain injury further on a different type of electrical and cellular level that we typically can't see or really you know, know what's going on, but it is happening kind of 
underneath the hood, so to speak. The second kind of filter that we go through is one that balances out the neurological system called the autonomic nervous system. The third filter that we go through is one that kind of balances out two halves of the brain. And then there are multiple filters after that. So you can see that there's actually a very well thought out pattern of multiple filters. So somewhere between six to eight filters that we utilize for our patients in order to help them to be able to process information visually better again and gain back somewhere between 10 to 80% of the vision that could be maybe has been lost due to that traumatic brain injury. Phase two is going to be more hands-on. We're going to kind of stimulate specific areas of vision loss, do a lot of activities helping our patients to gain binocularity, um, their ability to judge the spaces all around them again, get them functional again for things like tasks that they want to do if it's possible, again, getting them back to driving, getting them back to golfing, which is important for lots of our patients, um, and just physical activities and things that they want to do. Maybe even just going to the grocery store, maybe going out in social settings and not feeling like they're going to knock into people or you know, be surprised on what comes up on that side because their vision has been lost. So helping them just get, get and gain back a functional and fun and enjoyable life again. Now, if you'd like more information about this and um, you know how we go about it in our clinic, connect with us if you're local, 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can do two things. One is kind of the generic route where you wanna gather more information. Go research us, go look at my YouTube channel with all of my seven or eight hundred or however many videos I have out there. Um, look at our success stories, read on our website, go search other sites, you know, of doctors and things and information. Or if you're just ready to take that next step, then schedule a consultation with me and we'll talk to you about how we can help you get back to gaining anywhere from 10 to 80 percent of the vision that has been lost. And number one thing I'll tell you, don't listen to the doctors who say it's not possible. Apparently, they're not doing the research and they don't know the second pathway exists and is really probably the reason why we're able to restore vision um, in a lot of our patients. So if you like this button, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can definitely pass this video on if you feel like it would be helpful or beneficial to someone else. Thank you.